turning 50, I think turning 40 was a challenge. Turning 50 was almost a reward in many ways. I think there's something that I felt in there that you you just don't get caught up in the small stuff and don't worry about things as much and you can just, there's more conviction. I feel like there's more conviction in who I am. So what I learned from um, going out by myself and was that it's not as scary as you think it's going to be. And it's like that, um, what I tell my younger self, just lighten up, give it a go, and if you don't try, you'll never go. And better to, to regret the thing you do than the things you don't do, so all the, all the cliche is in there. And I, what I did was, I guess I called it, I recreated my career story. And one of the things I did early on when I had my own practice was I wrote the book, Recreate Your Career. You know that women, particularly women over 50, drinking, the rate of breast cancer increases, um, and, and throat cancer, mouth cancer, there's just so many um, illnesses that come with drinking. And so all that fear is removed. <laughs> I'm not saying it, that, that um, those kind of things don't happen, but the, uh, the risk is reduced, certainly. Um, but all the other health benefits that come with it, the calmness, anxiety is really very highly triggered by drinking and you drink to remove anxiety and quite often actually it's the drinking that can create it. Other glasses and maybe sometimes just an extra one that was just making me that bit too tired to say the next morning. I just wanted to shift all that and remove all that and choose how can I make myself a better version of me and how what is it that I need to do to make that change. So I chose to I chose sobriety rather than